On a scale of one to ten of Mr. Beast banging your girlfriend, where does this lie? Ranking number 456. The bestest. Extra squid gems. Squidly diddly. Squid jizz. So here we are, reacting to Mr. Squid. <laughs> Mr. Beast. I was going to say Mr. Squid. Mr. Sexy Beast. Mr. Sexy Beast. Love this man. He's so sexy. I subscribed for my <laughs> chance for $10,000. Everybody wants their chance for $10,000. Yeah. This man did Squid Game in real life and has 66... It was 64 million views when we started watching. Now it's 66 another, million. Another 2 million watched in the time that we that got we interrupted got through this. by fat women <laughs> that are drunk and wanted me to insult them. Our chances of ranking fat women or ranking squid women. It's really hard to rank them, honestly. They're all so fat. <laughs> oh my god. So here Mr. Beast recreated in loving detail Squid Game and had 456 people compete for... Four hundred fifty-six thousand dollars. Yes. Would you do that? I would. Hell yeah! Absolutely. I would. Absolutely. And uh, he supposedly spent like three point five million dollars on this. Not of his own money, though. The sponsors' well, money. Sponsors and his money. I guess so. I'm fairly sure Mr. Beast is just here to on Earth to give away his money. He's basically YouTube Jesus. He's YouTube Jesus mixed with Bill Gates. I. And Elon Musk. He's isn't, a YouTube billionaire. Isn't Bill Gates kind of rapey? Or no, he did something. No, bad. he gives out uh, vaccines and viruses. Wasn't he an Epsteiner? Yes, okay. he was friends with Epstein. Yeah. So, Mr. Beast decided to strap explosives to all of these young people and old people's uh, chesticles. Yes. So I don't know he what it just them. exploded. I don't know what it did to them. It just like know. blue ink on their stomach. <laughs> <laughs> like just, squids? Just hit a That makes ink. sense. Yes. Perfect sense. So he recreated every single one of the games, minus one. And he started with red light, blue light. I feel like I would be great at being one of the workers. You would be one of the people with the face mask to it, to blow people up. All of his friends are fully retarded, so I would I would fit. <laughs> are right you in. allowed to say the R word? Fully retrograded. He has this guy. Where's this? One of his guys. Kyle. Is this guy, Kyle. There's something wrong with Kyle. Yeah. He's on the spectrum. He a little downsy. Wow. <laughs> we shouldn't say that. This guy's doing a full squat. He's down a clown. Yeah. The one thing that's actually fascinating that came out of it. That's. Is that Mr. S Mr. Beast spent like three point? Or, he spent three point five million dollars on the whole thing, but the majority of this was actually created with CGI. So if you see Wait, the behind what? the scenes, none of the sets were real. Are you kidding? None of the sets were real. They were all CGI. Yeah, if you see behind the scenes of Squid Game, it's all like like those little fucking those balls. Wait. There's a little the, like tennis this balls. This was fake or this, the show was fake? The show was fake. He did it for real and spent way too much money. Oh, okay. And he had his friends like calling out like red light, blue light. He dressed as the... Game the, master? The, no. The front man. So Mr. Beast was the front man with his like sneakers. Oh, yeah. I don't know that it was really 100 yards, but I guess it was close enough. It, it looked a lot shorter. And there wasn't a lot of snipers. So I was a little disappointing, but like that's a lot of people. Yeah. That is also, a lot everybody of knew what the games were at this point, so you had it's a kind little of cheating. Yeah, you had a little bit of an upper hand. Yeah. So if you watch Squid Games, obviously spoilers for Sp Squid Games going forward, you would see like if you know. In fact, there's a character who knows all the contests ahead of time and has an edge. Is he a cheat, motherfucker? Yeah. If you know the contest, you're gonna cheat. So. If it's something like uh, Foursquare or what's the one where you, like Jax, you would lose if you didn't know the game ahead of time, right? So they all knew red light, green light. So they, they still had a chance. It up. Oh, they still lost in bulk. Oh, what, Ooh. what is this, an ad? Yep. Oh we can God. play the ad, I guess. No, I don't want to play the ad. We can't skip the ad unless we play it. That's not true. That um, is actually, you know what? Yep. I'm not. Am I playing the ad? I don't know what the ad is. It's Hawkeye. Hawkeye. The greatest manly woman show ever. Clawkeye. How can I get past? Skip the ad. Where? Skip. skip. Oh, okay. Yeah. Squid Games. 
back. Oh, I don't want to get pulled. That's all. No, yeah, just keep just keep skipping through. They're on to game two, which is what the oh the oh cookie. they had to line up in front of the, for the cookie, the and, cookie and challenge, the, the candy cookie thing, and they line up in front of question marks for all of them. Yeah, see, this is how it should have been. It was just luck. Yeah, because they didn't know what shape was. The audience knew what shape was good. But here he's like, ah, oh, all question marks, so you don't know. So everybody got the umbrella was very unhappy. They're very sad. But people got the triangle. They were happy. Yeah, the triangle was super easy. And then one of their dick friends was like, I'm gonna drop a lighter. Oh yeah, yeah. He dropped a lighter just to like cheat or whatever. 142 people made it out of the first two games. And he did pay some of the people. Yeah, and oh that was great. He's like, anyone who leaves can get four thousand dollars. And some people are like, peace, bitch. Yeah, like this girl right here. She's like, Peace out! 252. $4,000 is $4,000. Is that on top of the 2000 she already won? Probably not. No. I mean, $4,000 to bail and only one person gets 456. I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah, I would take 4000 That's a good choice. Yeah. Plus, like, do you really want to be subjected to torture? Uh, I mean, what was it really torture? You fall in a foam pits. Yeah, but do you win any money? The tug of war was probably the most uneven game because you were making teams knowing what you were doing. And there was a bunch of like, oh, they were like men only. Yeah, this bros. was very misogynistic. Bros only. Although the teams with some girls won as well. Manly women. And who who kept oh 456 kept winning. Nasty Mandy's wife could have definitely anchored it down. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. So a lot of people got pulled into the pit. And then they came back and they did uh, what was the next game? Oh, they picked out who your best friends were, and they were like, yeah. No, the next was the, co the, oh, the cookie thing. After the cookie, they had to do the marbles. The best friend, yeah. That yeah, was they, fucked up. They picked up, they knew, they watched everybody, and they knew who your best friends were. And then they were like, guess what, best friends? You have to play against each other. People were very sad. Yeah. Very sad. 456 still kept making it through with his plot armor. He did. He kept cheating. There's I that forget, Carl yeah, that's kid the, again. The, there was like Kooky two hot Carl. best friends. And then well, only one hot best friend made it. Yeah, we don't know which one because we stopped paying attention. Yeah, we did. 456 made it though. And, oh, and then, then he, he was, went on a long rant about his advertiser. Yes, he advertised the hell out of uh Of course, 456 is Asian. Of course. And then they had to play... Uh, jo oh, Jenga. Man. Nope. Oh, the doc, the docky, dachi, dachi, dachi. I've never played that, but that seems hard. Where as you shit. slam. That's the game where you get recruited for squid. Yeah, it games. seems hard as shit though. Yeah, where you have to like slam the paper into and the other paper flip. and flip. That seems pretty hard. And then they went to which I thought was kind of the most fun, which was the uh, glass. Uh, yeah, they they stood on the. What do they call that? I'm assuming things. you weren't allowed to just run through because you could have easily you ran through. You had to jump and stand yeah. on each platform. So they had to like look at it and decide like which one was going to hold them. So they did like the glass bridge and the jumpings and such. And then everyone was just like, I ain't moving. And then yeah. dumb people from the back were like, you know what? I guess I'll go ahead. I'd have been like, fuck you. You're all going to lose. Exactly. Y'all lose. If you go in front, there's zero chance. There's like the lowest chance possible you're going to make it. Exactly. So they all kind of like waited until everybody got done. And then everybody got eliminated except for like four people or like eight people. I don't know. They eliminated a lot of people. Yeah. Of course. Plot armor boy won. 456 won. And then they got to eat some steak. But he was like, yeah, steak is boring. So let's go right on to musical chairs because no one in America knows how to play Squid Game. It was just like sumo wrestling. Do you know how to play Squid I Game? I think you had to knock them out of the arena. You have to like hop on one leg and then like not like jump across the squid's body. Very complicated. Americans cannot understand yeah. that game. I don't it's, know if it's a real game. But it's not as good as Foursquare. Foursquare, you just like dominate people. Yeah, or musical slam chairs. The ball. Do you dominate people in musical chairs? Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, you yeah? You gotta feel the music. You have to have a wide ass for that. You can feel it. it right in your booty. Like Nasty Mandy and his wife. <laughs> right in their they booties. They break the chairs. Would they, you get eliminated if you were so fat you broke the chairs? No, you get eliminated if you sit down too fast. Yes. Because that's what happened to 456. Stupid bitch. He got eliminated because he sat down too fast. He did. Goodbye, 456. 
Goodbye. Is this show inherently racist because there's a white man lording money over non-white people? Uh-huh. They had a piggy bank. Oh, my God. With with people. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. You made it bigger. It's so big that I don't know what to do with it anymore. Okay. Well. Well, yeah. We, it's at the end of the video. Absolutely. I don't know what to do now. Uh, hit the little mini button down the no, there. There you go. You got there it. There we go. I got it. I'm winning. Was this Squid Games better than the real Squid Games? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of fun to watch people have explosives blow up all their stocks. I wish they were real explosives. That would make it a little more intense. And then this dude won. He won number 79, won $456,000. Apparently, Mr. Beast has an awful lot of money to give away. We w actually watched, what did we watch? Hidden, we, a hide and seek challenge. Oh, I thought we watched him cuck your girlfriend. Oh, that too. Yeah, he films porns on the side. He paid her, so that's how we make our money. Like $4,300. Money's money. She did everything. That's fine. All of it. As long as I can go to a nice dinner. Afterwards. So, good job, Mr. Beast. If we had your kind of money, we would waste it just like you did. Would on, we? On alcohol. No, we would spend the majority of it on, on alcohol. He doesn't seem like he spends enough on alcohol. He does not. He does not. We would spend the majority of it on alcohol. Yes. And then we would spend it on, like, a poorly constructed Squid Games. No, I was just going to say we buy a bunch of midgets and throw them. So we just do midget tossing? Yeah, midget tossing. <laughs> so instead of actually doing Squid Games... Just toss a midge. Well, I mean, that's it's, what you get from our reviews will kill you. Midge. We uh, we take that budget and we drop it real low. Would they make snowmen? Is it politically correct to say midget anymore? I what else know. would you say? I don't know. What about midge? S throwing some thick that midge. That sounds like a. It's <laughs> like a nice, nice <laughs> slang term. Super for it. thick. Yeah. Oh my god. Some tiny midge. Well, we need subscribers, and if you don't like and subscribe, Noob Noob will do this to you. I will still buy a midget, and instead of throwing it at a dartboard, I'll throw it at you. And they're going to be nice. obese midgets. Oh they're not going to land nicely on you. They might break a sternum, break an ankle, break your pelvis. Who what knows? your coccyx? Yeah, maybe that, if that's even real. Mm -hmm. Either way, you're probably going to get an STD because I'll buy them from the hooker shop. Oh my god. And, uh, yeah, be prepared. So you better like and subscribe or you're going to get squiddly diddly from my hooker midges. Well, make sure you catch our full length audio podcast anywhere you can get podcasts. It is free on iTunes, Spotify, all those other fun places and live streams 730 p.m. Friday, Eastern Standard Time and catch our random videos on YouTube because we would really like to get a budget just like Mr. For Beast. the midges. Absolutely. Yep. Midge on. We need to support them. Because we're on to the next one. Midges need jobs. Ah.